I want, welcome, I want to welcome everybody for our second vision collaboration session. And uh, uh, Sister Anne from the Stroud Group just prayed and uh, she prayed for us and prayed for you, friends, because she said we want to reach out to the young people uh, in the university campuses, but also everywhere, wherever they are. And so I want to welcome everybody who has joined us this morning. Anne and Andrew, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, being with us. I want to also welcome Oswin. He's one of our young people at Cheltenham. Uh, Moses, another young person, and Asa. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we're doing a uh, young disciples group together, so I'm just so happy to see part of our, of our team there. Um, and uh, our elder, uh, Charles, is here, and Moses. So thank you so much. And I know some of other people wanted to be here, but there is a simultaneously, unfortunately, Another meeting at uh, Gloucester Church happening right now is the board meeting. So some people like uh, who was with us, uh, one of the elders there can't be with us. He, message, he messaged uh, and uh, there were other people. Uh, but uh, we give thanks to God and uh, we want to make a we want to make a start. So as, as we said, that the vision for this session uh, and what we're doing is to reach into young people. And like uh, Anne said, wherever they are found, both in the university and in our community. And so um, I would like uh, to ask uh, somebody else, uh, a volunteer who might be able just to pray uh, and just uh, <clears throat> pray for God to bring workers, to open doors. And to, uh, one of the things we are working with is now is trying to establish a, an Adventist society on the University of Gloucestershire. So we don't have one, and I believe when we have one, uh, we, uh, we we have uh, access to the university, and uh, pray that many young people will feel the love of Jesus in their lives. So can I ask for a volunteer, perhaps, just to pray in your own words uh, for this uh, purpose and initiative, please? Heavenly Father, we hear the words of Pastor Glibroff here and the intention, the goal that we have. And Lord, may we make that your goal. May we offer that before you. May we declare to you that we would like to build this base within campus of Gloucestershire University that can be a a gathering place for Adventists can be a catalyst for the coming together of people who would like to learn more about Adventism and can be a platform from which to reach out to help those who need help within the university. So not only, Lord, to draw people to your church, but perhaps primarily for your people on the campus to build a community that allows them to reach out to other students that perhaps do not know you, that have needs that only you can satisfy, Lord, but who need help reaching out and need help getting to know you. So, Lord, we ask that you will help us in this purpose and help to establish this society, this group within the university that can enable those goals and for you to work continually with us, Lord, to achieve those goals. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Wonderful prayer. Thank you so much, Andrew. Uh, so basically, the next uh, session, the next thing on our agenda is uh, I want to bring you up to speed because uh, uh, I was uh, in touch with uh, Pastor Warren at the SEC. He's the he's the youth ministry. He's the leader there, the youth ministry leader, Pastor Warren Gillen, um, <clears throat> and he is uh, um, 
and he linked me up with Tanzin. Unfortunately, I, I only saw this message in the morning. So I actually emailed back to say, because they were saying, let us know if we can come to your session uh, from the SEC for this morning. And I shared that uh, I, I, I let them know this morning. Uh, they they sent me a message on uh, Thursday night. Uh, but we were very busy with preparation for Sabbat for the ceremony and nominating committee. So I, I only saw it this morning. And um, but what we're, we're building at the moment links with the South England conference. And this is something what Charles uh, and already what we had in our previous meeting, it was a goal to link up to strengthen this so we can partner and we can work together because uh, it is the goal of the SEC actually uh, for them to establish societies as well. And now we are going to put hands together and um, uh, we are, I have requested if uh, Warren is able to also come and uh, speak to one of our um, <clears throat> univer university uh, sessions opportunities over there. So that is uh, at the moment what is, uh, what is happening. Uh, and uh, I will keep updating you with uh, where we are. And the, 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 the number four item is uh, the progress on uh, establishing the, the Adventist uh, Student Society. Now, what we have so far at the moment is uh, we have, uh, I have two students that are, they, they needs to be, let me see how can I say this. Uh, uh, in our pastoral team meeting at Cheltenham, we were looking at ways how we can gain an access to the university. And uh, one way, obviously, would be hiring their, their halls there. But that will incur a lot of money for us. And university professor Charles said that, uh, why don't we set up a society and actually the university will give us a hall? And that seemed a better idea. And so that's kind of the idea what we are working on. And I think we need three students. And now so far, we've located two students. And one of them is Esther Williams. She's a student in the Oxford campus. And another one is Odette. She's also a student. And she has actually created a, a WhatsApp group for the society. And we are, we are awaiting to gather all the students and then fill in that application online. And when I was in Serbia just recently to the uh, Trans-European Division, all of the pastors we were there, there was a chaplaincy training and on that Pastor Obi from the North England Conference, he told us that the way how we can gain the access to the university is actually to the society, just exactly what Charles said. And he said further that uh, when the students fill this application, uh, they can also ask for a chaplain. And so they can put my name there and I can, and then the university will invite me to be an interviewed, and then we can uh, officially start that society with a chaplain. And then uh, uh, the good thing, friends, is that once you we, we have this this uh, societies, we are we are going to do to be able to. Uh, uh, let me just share this with. I'm just going to find this uh, um, to share with this with you. Uh, society. We're going to be able to create different kinds of events there and university students from people who don't share our faith, they can be able to join us. So that as well, uh, because it will be open to anybody what we're doing. We can go bowling, we can have hike, we can go for hikes, we can uh, watch movies and we can have different kind of uh, things going on. And uh, this will be open because all societies are open to anybody who wants to join. So this will give us the ground, the opportunity, the, the possibilities. And besides that, they sometimes even fund this. They, they give us some, the university, uh, some support and help because it's for the students themselves. And so this is what we are working uh, on. Now, now what I, what I want to also suggest, but this is just a suggestion, is uh, on top of this, because we have some fundings uh, that is available and that is going to uh, kind of, we have evangelism budget allocations to Cheltenham and to, uh, uh, to, the, to, the, to our churches, to the district. And we actually haven't finished all of our budget uh, this year. And 
if we don't use it, we lose it. Uh, and there will be a new budget, obviously, for the, for the new year. Uh, and so I was just thinking maybe maybe like every quarter, because we have budget for this as well, we can additionally, on top of the society, which we want to create, maybe four times in a year, we can hire a whole and can do something differently, something that the society can't maybe achieve, but we can do it uh, also in, in an addition. But that's just a suggestion that I have, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, but that's what I wanted to do because we don't have the society at the moment, but we can uh, hire a hall. Uh, and uh, and I was looking at hiring a hall at the 19th, uh, let me just say the 19th of December. And I'm in a collaboration at the moment with the university. That is Thursday, 19th of December from six o'clock to 8.30. And I'm at the moment in collaboration and they wanted to know what will the event be and how will it look like? And and so uh, that's one of the things that I want to ask you uh, permission that we may think about it and uh, talk about it if you're interested for us to do this uh, for the 19th. So I can feedback to the commercial event manager and, and see what we can do. One of the things that she communicated to me is that uh, they don't uh, allow uh, proselyting, I can't say the right word, on the campus. So we will need to take that in mind when we are creating something there and perhaps move everything we do by way of adding value to young people and, uh, and then creating friendships with them. And then if they ask us, but by the way, who are you and why are you doing this? And this gives us the platform and the opportunity to say, well, I'm a follower of Jesus, you know, and uh, if you want to know more, I can share with you, but it needs to come from you. So we, we have to maybe find a new ways of how. And I love the way how Jesus, uh, the way how Jesus method was, you know, Jesus mingled with people uh, as one who desired their good. He showed interest to them. He showed his empathy, ministered to their needs, won their confidence, and then said, come and follow me. And so maybe we can do the same. But I want to open the platform now because I've like talked a lot and I'm very sorry. This, uh, so please, uh, I'll open the platform here. Share some thoughts. How do you feel about uh, this vision of um, fishing in the ponds where we're not fishing right now, making a difference in places where we don't, uh, coming out of our walls? and uh, reaching to young people, trying to reach young unchurched and sowing seeds in places because these young people will go to their homes. They'll go to different places and they're going to make difference there. You know, imagine if we reach one young person for Christ, the potential of what that person will multiply in their life and where they will take it is just, uh, uh, yeah, incredible. So let me open up the, the platform. Uh, any, any thoughts so far, friends? Um, Pastor, can you explain a little more about your comment on proselyting? Um, is it just that you can't um, solicit, you know, take someone who is minding their own business and you can't go and, and uh, try and grab their attention and do something, but if they come to you, it's all right? Or is it the whole notion of... Um, trying to grow a religious community, possibly with new members. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what they meant, but uh, I don't want to discourage you. But let me just read you the email that I got uh, from Charlotte. This is what she said, uh, because this will help us to know how we can be able to minister and how we can. Uh, so when I got it, I was a little bit... Uh, let me just read it to you. So it says, uh, Hi, Spasa, I'm assuming you're looking at the lecture theater. We would have availability on Thursday, 19 December, between 6 to 8.30 and before and after. Please, can I double check? Would this event be solely for members of your church? Because what happens is, uh, Andrew, I've been in, in touch with, uh, with uh, uh, the commercial event for like a long time because I was trying to see how if ever comes a need that we, we need to hire these places because we were also looking for moving a, 
moving church. So I was like saying, oh, maybe let me explore the campuses as well. And then uh, after a long time, they went to their committee and they said, they said that, okay, we can actually grant you the hire. Uh, and they were not allowing that at, at the beginning. And so then she said, please, can I double check? Would this event be solely for members of your church or would others be invited? Our chaplaincy team have asked me to check to know that we are currently reviewing our religious policy. However, to be clear that we do not allow proselytizing on campus. And then uh, she says, I'm out of, of the office on Monday, but I will check my emails upon my return. She's coming back on, on Tuesday. And then I messaged her. I said, I said, dear Charlotte, thanks for your email. I'll have a meeting on Sunday 10 to 11, and we'll be able to share more. But usually these are open to anyone that would like to come from the public. Would that be okay? Thanks for sharing your policy and expectations. Have a good day. Uh, yeah. So... This is where we are right now. Yeah, so not, not clear, is it? Um, I can imagine that this might only relate to lecture theatres where, um, you know, they have a, they have a, a set of rules about what can be lectured and what can't on university. Um, I remember years back in Glasgow when I was there, um, there were uh, events where um, meetings had been cancelled because it turned out that the speakers were trying to persuade people on religious or political issues. Now, you didn't mean that on campus in general, because you could have political parties based and have student uh, societies for those parties, but you couldn't use the forum of a lecture theatre, which was meant to be sort of neutral and science-based and, and not have any bias built into it. You couldn't use it then for purposes that had some sort of um, religious or political bias. Um, yeah. So it, it may be that, but it sounds like we need to explore a bit more. Yes, yes. And this is why uh, we have actually two ways at the moment we can work. Uh, and I think uh, that by doing the society is much easier because I'm just reading now what uh, Odette, uh, she created this uh, society and my, uh, it's on my WhatsApp right now here. Uh, and it's for the, uh, for the students that we are locating at the moment. And this is what she's, it's, it's written here. Adventist students on campus, a Christian university club that aims to support students in many ways. Number one, spiritual growth. Uh, ASC provides a spirit, spirit supportive environment for spiritual growth. And then it says uh, uh, supportive community through events, activities, and open discussions, academic excellence, cultural celebrations. Uh, and then it says events can include social events like bowling, film nights, and hikes, a weekend retreat at the end of the academic year a weekly Bible study and catch-up sessions called Care Group, and uh, Adventist uh, Students on Campus Society is open to anyone, regardless of their faith. So, uh, and, and Pastor Obi actually showed me that when, he, when, he, when they created the society on one of the secular universities where he, he was there, I think in the Northern Conference, he said he had a lot of different people from non uh, non advantaged joining the, the the different activities they're doing, like cooking club and people like who know nothing about Jesus. And basically, they make friendships and uh, and that's how they they work and they interact and they, they serve. Uh, but the society gives us that access, and it's uh, by law of the university. Uh, and so I'm a bit unclear what we can do with like hiring their holes. Uh, but uh, if we can come up with certain plan now, then I will email uh, and we'll see if, if uh, they will say yes or no. And we can take it from there. If they say no, we can just work on building the society and working through that. Uh, yeah. Mm. What do you think? So any thoughts on uh, something we can create for the 19th and uh, what would you like me to message uh, Charlotte? Any ideas? Because we have some budget that is not finished as well. 
uh, from the year end, uh, and uh, we will lose it by 31st of December if we don't use it. And this will be maybe an opportunity to just do something while we, we have the funding available before it runs out on 31st of December. Any of the young people, any ideas? You can suggest something. Or anybody. So this is social, yes? Yeah, we can do social. We can we can maybe have a little speaker and we can have social event. Anything we can do. Uh, there's there's like no uh there's nothing uh um nothing being planned at the moment what we can do we can decide together here what we can do mm -hmm. uh, do you have any thoughts Anne? so and this is on this is on the campus is it oh is yes it, uh... sorry it's in the park campus in yeah. the university yes right. <clears throat> and it's okay and it's in a lecture theater uh actually they have various rooms we okay. can choose a lecture theater we can choose a room uh lecture theater is the bigger one but maybe we should go with the smaller one uh, where it's not like a lecture and, theater. Uh, what and, do you think at this stage? And this, and this will be open to anybody in the university campus. Uh, or is it just... That is that is what uh, is the is the in in the in the discussion on the table at right. the moment. I'm okay. going to say uh, we'd like it to be open to anybody who wants to join without the okay. I think that's going to be kind of my tone of the email. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. If, if you if you agree with that, yeah. 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 I mean, I um, I already have an event on that night. Otherwise, I would have been oh, there. Sorry. Oh. That, that's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah. Charles Moses, anybody? Also yeah, I think, uh, yeah. Because it, we're looking at youth. It should come from what? What do they want? It should yeah. come from. Them. Do you want anything we can do? Uh, you can bring your friends as well. You know, and we can throw some food. Uh, do you have any suggestions, any ideas? Don't be shy. <laughs> we have 10 minutes, actually, to uh, before it finishes our session at the moment. Unless we want to rejoin to, if we can't uh, finish in the 10 minutes. Oh, I see. Maybe Anne, you can suggest, and maybe it will be a kickstart well, from your ideas. Yeah. I'm, well, I, I'm still, I'm still praying that some of the young people will, as it's aimed at them, some of they will do. What I'm tempted to do is my son is upstairs. Oh, um, just Colin, give bring me, him. Bring just, him. Just, just give me a second. Yeah. While I was doing that, just the direction my mind was going was picturing a lecture theatre and just trying to think through what, what is there that we could do that has that kind of lecture format. Um, and I was thinking about having, you know, rather than one person giving a lecture, but having a forum where different people can stand up and, and say something, you know, inviting people to come and talk from the audience, you know, Come up and tell us something miraculous that's happened in your life. You know, mm. each person gets ten minutes or five minutes to say something. If there was some some way of people being able to tell their own stories, and it could be non-denominational, it could be inviting people from all faith groups, for example, to say things that that have inspired them, uh, that that they've. They find might might uplift others in the story, but I don't know whether that's treading the line of proselyting too too closely. Mm. I like the idea. Um, I, I'm not. Sure. Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, I want to welcome a special guest here, Esther Williams, with whom um, 
we have uh, broken new barrier, uh, new grounds in in Swindon area where we've been working together. And Esther is actually one of our students at the University of uh, Gloucestershire uh, in Oxford University. And uh, Esther, welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, we want to thank you so much, Esther. And um, thank you, Pastor. Thank, thank you. you. We want to bring you up to speed. We are trying to create an event at the university on the nineteenth of uh, uh, on the nineteenth of December, at six o'clock to eight thirty in the evening, and this is to actually hiring the hall. Uh, but we are, and then, but that's probably not our main way of working in the university. But we have some budget that is there. If we don't finish it until thirty first, we actually lose it. Uh, it's given evangelism budget to our uh, to our church. And uh, but the main way we want to work is through actually yourself and Odette and 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 finding some more students who will form the society. And thanks to Charles, who is a university professor there in Oxford, actually university uh, campus. Uh, he told us th this way, and also I was strengthened by by how the conference is trying to. And we are linking up also with South England Conference um, Student Ministry uh, Youth Leader. You direct uh, Pastor Warren Julian as well. So uh, he is actually in another meeting at 10 o'clock today as well. He was going to be here with us. He just messaged me earlier on. Uh, he, my, he sent apologies. Um, but we're trying to see now <clears throat> from the university, they've, they've emailed me. They said they don't, uh, they're not allowing proselytizing. And so we're trying to see what kind of event we can do in on the 19th if it goes through that will... Uh, will in a way, if maybe probably their staff will come, probably they will have a uh, university representative there and they will check us out who we are. And uh, so what can we do in a way that it will add value and it will build relationships with the university in, in a way uh, that you will suggest? Uh, one idea was something miraculous uh, that happened to us and we share that at there. But then we're asking ourselves, how would that work out? Will it be the best way to start there? So any thoughts uh, on this? Uh, we have also here a, a young person, before, just before Esther you, sp you speak, I think uh, Anne uh, brought her son from upstairs. Did, uh, did your son wanted to say something before? We um, well, he's not been to university, but what he's saying was, he would look at which you don't have time to do. So to be able to have groups where uh, that would address issues that you have that you would have um, in universities. But but you've only got until the nineteenth. I don't think that's enough time. I know the only other thing that comes to mind if you have musical people is I know what what works well in a community that I work in is is um, just community choir, just people just come together and you just get them to sing, get them to form um, small groups and whatever, and just sing, just come up with something. And that always works. It just breaks down lots of barriers. And there's not very many people who don't like singing. Mm. So that's the only thing that would come to my mind. That is, I mean, in the community choir that I sing in, I know when I, I started there, um, over 20 years ago, and it was 25% Christian. It's now 95% Christian. And that's just through singing. Mm. Brilliant. So we have, number one, something miraculous. I'm sorry, friends. <laughs> Having a, <That's> fine. <laughs> um, something miraculous. I really, I really like that idea, Pastor Spazi. Mm -hmm. I really, I think that would be a non-threatening way to just bring people together, um, highlight their talents, and um, and you know I think even at, at a start, it it, it could be I, I don't know do they have a university choir? Because Adventists are are known really well for their singing ability. I, I don't know whether they have a university choir. But um, this could be something just really community. We're not 
you know, pushing religion or anything like that, because I feel that would be the most successful way to get in, just like Jesus did. It wasn't about, you know, about pushing religion on people or anything yeah. like that, but actually just meeting with them where they are, um, you just know, looking of- after their good and, mm. and then, you know, and then along the way through our genuine love and friendship that we build, right. um, you know, then, you know, lots of things can happen from that. But yeah. I really like Anne's idea of a, of a choir that you want to, you know, start a choir. And that's something that could benefit the university itself. You know, um, you know, if it builds, then they invite us into different programs and things to sing and, and um, yeah, I think that's it in terms of the twelfth. When did you 19, say you have nineteen? Nineteen. The nineteen. What day is that? It's Thursday. Thursday evening. Thursday evening yeah. A Thursday evening. Yeah, yeah, just I think just free food, free food, and um, just uh, an, a chance to socialize. Yeah. Um, with with the students, nothing about about religion or anything like that. I mean, it's Christmas, and you know, as part of our speaking, we could highlight the fact that it's Christmas, and you know what what Jesus did. But nothing, just a real nice social event. Yeah, with food, free food for the kid for the students, and yeah. a chance to just talk and meet, and then afterwards we could tell them about the choir. Yeah, I'm, I'm just even singing, uh, sorry, just singing Christmas carols. So we don't have to say anything about Jesus. It's all it's all in the carols, isn't it? You can sing, you can sing carols, and um, I know that in sorry, you know. Hannah. Sorry, and it's going to finish. Uh, would you mind oh, to rejoin? Sorry. It's going to uh, just rejoin the the same uh, what uh, the same um, Zoom link, please. It's less than a minute. Uh, but ca- carry on, uh, on. Yeah, it, you know, there's lots of um, films out there 